The numbers are going in the wrong directions right now in the province of Ontario and Ontario Science Table, COVID-19 Science Table head, uh, Dr. Yuni is sounding the alarm saying that it is maybe time to reconsider those uh, capacity limits in some of the restaurants and sporting arenas. Now, here is how he describes the situation could have an exponential growth in days to come. Right now, the doubling time is around 17 days, meaning the 500 cases on average per day will be roughly 1,000 in about 17 days if we continue to be on this track. And we just need to acknowledge we need to fine-tune our response now a bit. If we just do what we're doing right now, this simply won't be good enough. So let's take a look at the latest numbers. Ontario is reporting 441 cases as of today, and the province's seven-day average of daily infection stands at 476 as of Monday, up from 371 the previous week. Now, the province also saw more than 500 daily cases on Friday and Saturday, and more than 600 cases on Sunday as well. Now, these new cases, Bev, are being seen in the younger population. As we know, many of the uh, younger ones are not vaccinated at this given point of time. What's also interesting to note is, Bev, that the higher congregated areas, for example, the bigger cities across the province are not the ones where we're seeing a rise in cases. It is regions such as uh, Sudbury and Waterloo region in the province of Ontario that is seeing this uptick in numbers, Bev. So let's talk about some of the recommendations or what's being contemplated, because as we know right now, the, um, the Ontario government is saying well, no change for the moment. That's right. The government is saying no change at the moment. We will stay course in terms of restrictions, but experts are bidding to say that it is time to revisit some of those. Now, it's not that we don't know of these restrictions or things that we can do, Bear. For example, Dr. Yuni is saying that since this is winter time, it is time for us to reconsider the capacity limits, reintroducing those in restaurants and sporting arenas. He added that individuals now have the power to help steady the course through their behavioral changes, like, you know, avoiding crowds, wearing masks indoors, and working from home if possible. And other experts agree to this. Getting vaccinated is so important. But if you're going to be doing activities that are indoors, keep your mask on, uh, try to keep distance, particularly from other people who you don't live with and things like that. Um, but do try to do events outdoors. And and Dr. Kalina there were speaking about vaccination, Bev. So while more than 85% of the residents uh, who are 12 and over have received two COVID-19 vaccine doses in the province, there's some variation across age, demographics, as well as regions. But there's another thing to note here, Bev, as we've been speaking to experts all of this morning, they are saying that there is no need to panic right now. The situation is under control. We just have to reconsider some of those things like we mentioned before, and we can contain the spread of the virus. Back to you, Bev. Okay, Akshay, thank you very much for that update.